You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and this time we're gonna play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 on the PlayStation Classic. So I went ahead with the fourth one, skipping out 1, 2, 3. I do still plan to go back to them eventually. This just happens to be what I have right now. And let me just enable the show FPS here. Now, I have to warn you guys, I am not really good at the Tony Hawk games. But we'll just see how it performs in the PlayStation Classic. Now, if I remember correct, for the fourth game, this was also released on... I mean, there's already a PlayStation 2 by this time already. So I think it may have been released on its um, next generation brethren. Uh, so but I haven't played that one as well. So I don't know how it would differ. I'm just gonna go free skate. Anyway. No, actually, yeah, let me try one single session. Let's see if I can make something out of it. Um, so far, everything looks okay. Loading despite not having a CD, of course, it's uh, much better that we're using like an internal, I mean, like a USB d drive right now, but it's not instantaneous, that's for sure. Um, okay. I'm just going around, I'm not even performing anything. <laughs> So, yeah, as I mentioned, I am not really good at this game. I barely know how to play it. I'm just trying it out to see how it performs on the PlayStation Classic. So you'll have to forgive me if this isn't a good representation of the the actual game. Anyway, from what I can see though right now, there is some um, slight uh, choppiness. It's not like, say, when I played uh, Tomb Raider on my previous video where everything uh, scrolls out pretty smooth. This one has some uh, choppiness to it. I'm not sure if you you can actually notice it on the recording here. I hope you can, but it's not exactly a uh, smooth experience right now. The controls are responding well. Well, from what I can pull out at, at least. And of course, time running out. And as expected, I just really messed around there. I'm not mistaken, the series Tony Hawk Pro Skater is making its uh, return, but I think it's like a mobile game. I'm not really sure about that, but I know there is like a new version of some sort. I just can't 
remember where because I think it was uh, killed off already by Activision or they lost the license I think but back then Tony Hawk games are comes out like once or twice a year and it would sell actually despite having a uh, minimal to well actually they sometimes make some radical changes and it usually doesn't turn out well hence eventually they had to kill off the series or maybe people just got tired of it fatigue kind of like what happened to the guitar hero series as well So, again, if uh, maybe you guys have uh, played this thoroughly before, and if you're seeing the issue on the video right now where things are not really as smooth as you'd think it should be, please do let me know. Uh, leave it to the comments. But from what I can see, yeah, it's it's not a like a perfect experience on the classic. I would say just play it on the original console, but I think there is actually much uh, better versions of it. Uh, for example, on its uh, um. I'd say next generation to PS1, PS2, I think, or uh, even GameCube, I, th I think. So it might be a lot better there. Because, uh, yeah, from what I remember, 1 and 2 is in PlayStation, but the rest came out on other systems like uh, Dreamcast or GameCube. This being the fourth one, yeah, I guess they just wanted some legacy support there. Kind of like what EA does to the FIFA series. Since uh, the PlayStation install base is one of the largest. And uh, I think um, that's it for this video. I'm not really performing any tricks right now. Uh, just uh, skating around and just seeing how it looks and performs. So yeah, once again, I do apologize for my poor gameplay here. This isn't really one of my best. But thanks for watching 8-bit days a week. Uh, catch me more playing out uh, PlayStation games on the PlayStation Classic. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.